have enough scrap. She lets him know that one won't go for Plaisance. Diana hooks it around, finds Shepard down low. Pretty pass. And Rachel Bannum. Asia Wilson back on, draws the double team. Plaisance calling for it, right corner. Can't get it, and the long rebound batted out. It's gonna stay with the Aces. Minnesota just really having their way. Ball screen action, causing the switch. If you're late on the rotation up, then that's when Shepard rolls to the basket. That's what allows her straight down the middle of the lane. It's a tough place to rotate from. Starting lineup back on for Las Vegas. Gray, she was the inbounder. Can't hit it. Both teams have gone a bit cold as of late. Jefferson, too much. Ace is going to push. Tricky. She's she's got every all-star little tricky move you can think of. Shepard kicks it out. Carlton can't get it. Aces want the over back. They don't get that one, and Shepard makes them pay. It's a pretty physical game out there, Carolyn. I thought Nikolic was over the back. Yep. So did this crowd. Asia guarded now by Milic. And this time, the foul's gonna go against her. Last week, the Las Vegas Aces solidifying the Commissioner's Cup standings in the West. And now just waiting to see who are they gonna play, Carolyn, and where are they gonna play? Right now, Connecticut and Chicago are in a race for that top spot in the East. And the first one is good. Some of, the, some of the money's gonna go to charities, obviously near and dear to both programs, but a little extra change in the pockets never hurts either. And as Angel Wilson gets both free throws after the break, back within one are the Aces. Now the Aces now in a zone. The key to the zone is you've gotta communicate and you've gotta move on the pass. Power steps in, nobody in front of her, and she hits it. Ariel Powers with five points. Balanced scoring and attack by Minnesota. Almost every single player has scored as Wilson tries to take it up. Shepard there to help. Plum gets the rebound. Clock down to five. It's skipped back out to her and just misses. Just 33% shooting right now for Las Vegas compared to 45% for Minnesota. Powers kicking that number up even more. Look, Minnesota battled in their last game with Seattle. That was a close win. It was 79 to 81. They weren't able to just to close it up, but they look like they are starting to find their rhythm playing in the absence of Sylvia Fowles, having new players on this roster. Yeah, it takes some time. You get used to a certain lineup as the shot there, a bit flat for Plum. One of seven shooting for Kelsey Plum. Skipped around to Jefferson and she rattles that one home. How about seven threes for the Lynx? And their largest lead of the ball game, leading by nine. And Becky Hammond wants to talk it over. We'll take a timeout as well. Minnesota on an 8 0 run up nine here in the second. She's starting to heat up. Decopy. Couple that along with how Mariah Jefferson's playing. She already has 10 points in this first half. Yeah, she only averages 12 per game, and she's up to 10 in the first half. 25 points for Powers the last time she played this Las Vegas team. And she's at, she's at eight points right now. And even though Vegas is only shooting 31%, I can guarantee you that Becky Hammond is going to focus on their team defense in the locker room at halftime. Shepard, extra effort on the offensive glass. 
And she gets fouled for her effort. Had been a starter, and now with some of the changes bringing Dantas into the starting lineup and Milic, she's coming in off the bench. Well, she's brought a physicality, a physicality defensively to the court for the Minnesota Lynx. We saw her at times matched up with Asia Wilson inside. She's battled on the boards. Gets the free throws. Shepard, the third-year player, had 14 points, 14 rebounds in the first meeting against this team, and she's muscling her way out there to add the totals again. Seven boards already for her and six points. Jackie Young trying to get into the action. Finally, her first points of the game. During the timeout, you said Jackie Young's got to get going. She hadn't gotten on the board yet. She's still trying to get her rhythm back. Back to the MVP form she was playing with before she had that foot injury. Shepard on the baseline, takes it on the other side. And it's an 11-point lead for Minnesota, their largest of the game. Skip out to Young, thought about it, dishes it down to Hamby, and instead help D in the charge. We'll take a look at the upcoming WNBA national schedule. You see Dallas and Atlanta on NBA TV on the 21st. Also Chicago right here against Las Vegas. That'll be on CBS Sportsnet. And then New York, Connecticut on ESPN2 the next day. Important matchups, especially that Chicago team coming in, Carolyn. Uh, they're going to come in hot after dropping that nail biter against Indiana Fever today. <laughs> the Fever able to hang on to that one. Chelsea Gray, laser pass to the opposite side. She'll get it back. High Archer sticks it. Eleven points for Chelsea Gray. That gets the crowd back into it. Bryant trying to get away from Jackie Young. Hesitation, Young in the lane, back-to-back -back buckets for Jackie Young. That's a great sign for the Aces. Under two minutes left here in the first half. It's kind of slow going, but she had been out a couple of games, but did play in this game on May 19th. She had 25 points against the Lynx in the last outing. Jackie Young having a most improved player, if not MVP player numbers prior to her injury. And you look what she did in her previous three seasons with the Aces to what she's doing now, almost doubling her point, point production, shooting over 50% from the floor and almost 45% from three. Yeah, all numbers up. And it's good to see her trying to get that rhythm back and get back into the flow of things. She worked really hard in the offseason. She played over in Australia. She even worked in, worked out in a heated chamber. <laughs> you know, if anybody's familiar with hot yoga, where they turn yeah. the room up to like 102 or so when you're doing yoga, well, she was lifting weights and running on a treadmill. Yeah. Like, she took that workout to a whole nother level. Yeah, she chose to do that, too. She was not being forced to do that. <laughs> uh, and it was definitely paying off for her. Also wove in a little Olympic play after winning the gold for the 3x3 U.S. team. She was busy. Powers hesitation gets it to go. Powers in double figures now. She's got 10. So the ace is trying to run a gap defense, but you've got to try to keep the ball on one side of the floor. Minnesota is really having their way, penetrating to the middle. Young, this one short, trying to draw the foul, won't get it. Link's going to push. 